What's going on, good people? It's Will. Uh, yesterday, I went over my uh, shit hits the fan belt, kind of my quote-unquote duty setup. Uh, today, I'm going over something that I would use uh, in the house for the most part. Still can be used at the range, but the way I have it set it up is for uh, in the house, sudden deployment. Uh, so, kind of going around still. Same rig as before. I got my trusty uh, flag myself. Glock 17 Gen 4 front serrations, the summer special. My stream light on it. It's in a uh, T-Rex Arms Ragnarok, and then I have a Safari Land Low Ride um, Low Ride Hanger. I normally love the mid ride, but because of where the belt has to sit, it's a little bit higher. So I went with the low ride so that the gun could be in the same place that I'm used to having it, just for a consistent draw. And we have, of course, our Cobra belt buckle. Again, super sturdy. Um, the way these work, if you're not familiar, these two tabs, you'll push them in and the belt will come apart. Uh, in order to do that, there can't be any pressure or tension on the belt pulling it apart. If there's any tension pulling the belt apart, then you won't be able to push the tabs and the belt won't come undone, uh, which is really good. So sometimes you have to actually push your buckles towards each other in order to hit the tabs. Moving around, I don't have a lot on the belt. I have some, some cheap old, uh, I think these are Blackhawk that I grabbed just to use an IDPA. So I just have a couple mag pouches for my Glock mags. Right here, just a basic uh, stream light. Remember what model this is. It is, if I can make the camera focus. It's a Protac uh, 2LX. So this is a nice light right here. Uh, if I should need that. I do have a weapon mounted light, but if it's a situation where I don't wanna use that because I have to obviously point the gun at the person then, uh, that's a Wilder Tactical mag pouch and then for an AR mag. Now, the inside of the belt is it's both padded and it's neoprene. Um, so it's a nice padding, so it's really comfortable. And the neoprene sticks to your clothing uh, so that the belt doesn't move around a lot. And then what you do is you take the pad. Oh, shit, I'm breaking it. Take the pad and you actually put your belt inside and see where these slits are. You can weave the belt out at any point and then you can attach whatever it is you want to attach to the belt directly and then weave the belt back under and then continue that way. So you can see here where I have the belt coming out so that I can put it through uh, for, my, for my holster. All right, so I'm going to cut away and then I'm going to show you how uh, easy it is to put this thing on. All right, so you just take the belt like you imagine, put it behind your back and then fasten the buckle and you're good to go. At that point, you have access to your pistol, mags, or whatever else it is that you have uh, on the belt that you set up. Um, because of the, the neoprene, it stays still so I can move around and it's not going to go anywhere. Um, so it's really good. It's easy again at the range. It's really simple because you can throw it on over a jacket or over clothing. Uh, one of those benefits is that it goes over everything. One of the things that is a detractor is that because it can ride up, especially like me, I don't have a lot here. Um, so it can ride up a little bit um, if it's pulled on really hard, if I was rolling around on the ground. Um, whereas an inner outer belt that's weaved through your belt loop is gonna be a little more secure. But this is much faster. If I'm just asleep and I just have on some shorts or something and I need to put this on, I don't have time to put on my pants and then weave a belt and then put that over the top. This is gonna be much faster. So there's some definite advantages, which is why I kind of use this for my in the house uh, setup. But either way, if you have any questions about the Wilder Tactical belt pad or anything on my rig or just the way I set it up, let me know.